all right so there's success there's a light so that was my next um announcement so this is my first video shooting with this light and i'm anticipating that it's going to be uncomfortable at first just like all my videos a little awkward but just give me a few minutes and i'll warm up so um i think it's pretty good you know it has like um like what is it like a like a clear gel like a white gel but it doesn't have the warm and cool so i think in the future i'd like to get those um i don't know how i look i'm hoping it's pretty good i tried to do all the pre-recording prep work uh i don't know if i'm too hot at that yet but there's a lot you know to looking decent when you're like shooting but i have um also you can't see it but it's a little mount i had to order an adapter for the mic to be able to sit on top of this camera because this camera has a different attachment a shoe on the top so i didn't know that because i'm totally unfamiliar with these types of cameras but it's been really fun getting to know it like frustrating like when i'm frustrated i'll like throw a serious fit because i just um i just don't like not being able to do something and i'm sure that's normal but i tend to go into like the rage angry kind of department before i you know come around and just like enjoy the process so that's been the case with everything so far um with school i've i've had to like learn how to enjoy the process um because i'm behind but i really enjoy the work so when i disconnected like losing out on money and like reconnected with like what I'm learning because I am seeing growth and I enjoy the coursework when I kind of separated those two things it became like way better so and I'm still enjoying the camera situation like now I can totally see all, like all these things that I want to get for it I think the next thing I'd like as far as like a big purchase for it would be a lens but I'm still getting to know like this lens like I noticed that there's little um, ridges around the lens that um, that maybe kind of hint that I can turn it <laughs> to the different, um, I guess, distances away. Like, kind of seeing that it's totally not my strong suit. Um, one thing is that I'm I'm still in the setup exploration phase because this. You know, like the tripod that I'm using is like one of those Joby Gorilla pods, like the ones with the um, the round, like kind of knobby things from the base all the way down to like the feet. I have um, a Manfrotto tripod, um, and I'm naming names because, like, maybe if you're interested, it'd be useful, but. I'm naming them because um, what I noticed is that especially shopping on eBay for like camera things is better to go with name brands because there's so much like junky stuff like I was really tiptoeing around not getting this light which is a prismatic halo but you look at the other ones and you're like well that looks pretty good and that'll work just as well and and it's like you watch YouTube videos and you kind of size it up but this thing is gigantic like it's like 18 inches like I think from like side to side and I think it's like perfect but if I would have gone with the other ones I wouldn't have like known you know because at this I look at it like well you know maybe a smaller compact one would have been as good but now I don't think so um, but it, none of, nothing I have like is too expensive, but I do see that you have to not go the absolute cheapest route. So it's kind of like art supplies, 
you can't just get like generic stuff and you really don't know that until like you've been working with stuff for a lot of years so um updates um i don't know in one class i'm hardly doing anything which is color theory because it's a lot of like setup of things and a lot of like cutting out things and if i do like one part of the project usually i have like four more parts to do and i'm just like behind and now um and i think it's a perpetual state of being behind i'm not the only one in the class i can tell like it's just like a speedy kind of thing and you have to kind of adjust the way that you work to being faster and i'm not a fast moving artist so that's like another you know um i guess bonus it's not like something that i would do myself you know it's like the circumstance and in drawing i'm just drawing and drawing and drawing mainly just naked people which is cool because it's really helpful um like we were doing architecture in the beginning and i thought it was going to be more of that but that was just perspective stuff so now it's just a lot of figure drawing which is nice because i like drawing figures but i haven't done it this way so that's one of like the beauties of like school and you know stuff like that because they have their way of doing things and I have to, I have to make sure that I don't take away too many of my techniques and substitute them for theirs. I have to learn how to do both because I have my own style and way of doing things, which I think I just like, but I'd like to improve upon it. So when it comes to weaknesses, I have to um, kind of like pinpoint what those are and substitute them or incorporate better techniques or better processes that will complement my existing style. So um, I'm learning about new materials and little different things like we have to use charcoal pencils and I never like sharpened my charcoal pencils, hardly use charcoal pencils at all. But um, what I did learn is that, you know, sharpening them with a knife is the way that you have to do things. And I thought that was kind of like a bourgeois kind of technique, but now I've learned that it's just the way that you have to do it because the lead isn't designed for a traditional sharpener. So you have to do it by hand and with um, sandpaper. So that's not bougie, it's just, it and it's really fun using charcoal pencils now like I haven't got and I never sharpened vine charcoal like I never I would just use like if it's like cylindrical I would just use the edges of the circle on the top to um, kind of form a point but now I'm learning that you have to use sandpaper to get a point on it and those are like simple things but you know, it's like little things like that, plus a lot of big ones um, pop up during class. And you know, I s skip the fundamentals a lot. So um, I don't know, am I boring? I like talking like this, but I, I don't know if I'm boring or not. Like I can talk about these types of things like all day. So, but, um, but yeah, what else? Um, I have some new, things like gaming things you know but i have to like hold off on that situation um i updated my phone and that's very exciting but it, you know it's not like a huge upgrade like it is because my phone now is like super janky you know like that's why i haven't really um you know been myself i guess but um I did order my first iPhone, which is very exciting. So, um, but I had to order like a SIM card from my carrier, so I'm not able to use it yet. So that's gonna be fun, you know? Um, it's a, a 5C, so it's not like some, I don't even know what the newest one is, but it's not whatever is $900 more. I'm on the $40 end of the spectrum of iPhones, if you can like even like, 
register that but like it's a really cute little phone and you know I'm still a, a Galaxy Note kind of girl because you know I love a big ass screen um, but I'm really excited about the iPhone because I think it's going to like make for some fun um, video situations on the go and some cool pictures and things even if the camera is older um, I, I know I can't even hate like you just can't beat the, the camera on an iPhone you just can't so that's gonna be fun I've been enjoying all these little techie things like I think next in like my home studio would be like the light boxes and hopefully I just get to know these types of setups more and um, I don't know what kind of new information I'll be talking about. It'll probably be almost just like a conversation like this. I don't have like the type of, you know, presentation personality. I'm more like a one-on-one -on -one conversationist, conversationalist talking about whatever type of person. So um, I can talk too much sometimes and talk about boring things. I don't think they're boring, but you know, that's just me. Um, so I think, you know, I think that's all. I can't think of anything that I'm leaving out. Um, I will say, this is kind of like a side note. It's been something that's been going on in the back of my head. For color theory, we use gouache paint, which is like an opaque watercolor. I will say, that when I'm able to have the kind of setup that I prefer and this could be me just being a big baby and I know I can be a big baby sometimes um, but I'm really excited about using it because I think that the paint is very cool like um, it's very flat and it's very opaque and it's what they you know use for like beginners classes um, color theory because they say it looks best on camera as being flat and what the color is. Um, but there's no like middleman that you have to deal with. Like there's none of the complications that other paints have to go through. So I'd, I'd never used gouache before, um, but I really enjoy it. So I think once I have like a working studio, which is what I really want is a dedicated studio space because where I'm working now, there's a lot of softness, you know, like a soft couch, um, soft rugs, there's even a rug over the table that I work at, you know? Um, and like I get a little paranoid, you know, I can't wipe things up and things are a little like crowded and, you know, mixing things. Um, I just kind of refuse when environments are like that. I just kind of look at it like, well, it's time for me to change mediums. Like when I wasn't able to work in oil paints, I just changed over to drawing. So when you look at like, my work for you know a few years I wasn't painting anything because it just wasn't the environment to um so like I don't know um but now I'm kind of forced to paint and set up um so I, I do it a little bit but even within the class I'm kind of doing a refusal because I'll choose to do the work from my other class which is drawing um, which is way easier and you know kind of like put off color theory because I look at it like well you know I don't know so I, I know that I need to pick up the pace on it but it's a little challenging so I'm not trying to make like any excuses my hair is super fuzzy so just accept that <laughs> um so I think on that I am out so out of information just a quick update a quick little testing of the setup hopefully it looks awesome and um hopefully next time I'll have like another cool addition of something if nothing else just um learning the camera better so maybe I'll have like a better like angle or I don't even know what you call this so you know like distance like from the lens and I'm, I'm just rambling at this point so let me go before I just 
do it some more. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.